it's uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, it feels good, uh, most of all from an improvement standpoint and a focus standpoint. I thought the guys had a lot of energy. We've we've talked a lot the last couple of days about where we're at, uh, why we are where we're at. You know, as a team, as a coaching staff, me as a head coach, I I, I haven't done a good enough job. Uh, we talked a lot about that, you know, last night and. Everybody got a lot off their chest the last couple of days, and, uh, and and after the meetings, we've kind of refocused on each other, what's important, this basketball program, and improvement from here on out, and talking about the fact that we got to stay confident and we got to stay together. And uh, I think that's that was a good key tonight. I thought you saw a good all-out effort. Um, you know, we extended some leads. We played defense in both halves. Uh, you know, we didn't play perfect, but we had a lot of positive, a lot of assists. We got the rebounding back under control in the second half. And uh, I thought some guys really stepped up and tried to tried to play good defense throughout the game. I, I thought early that AJ was getting driven a little too easy and um, Really challenged him to lock in defensively at the end of the half. I thought the last five or six minutes he did a great job. And uh, Jamal Crook was terrific with his deflections and how active he is. You see how long and athletic he is when he wants to be and really really get around the court. Um, I thought everybody. And, and when you have guards that are willing to get out there and pressure and do some things, it kind of it, it energizes everybody. And it can happen that quickly. And we had a couple spurts there where you know, it was bang, 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 steal, 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 an easy bucket on the other end. We picked up in the full court. Stefan Pettigrew came up and was aggressive, did some good job, did a, did a good job. And Jeremy was, was, was real active. So um, I thought uh, overall there was just a lot more intensity on the defensive end. Early, they made some tough shots. They made some really tough shots. They hit one off the top of the backboard, they had another runner that was a really tough lefty runner. So they shot a pretty good percentage in the first half, but um, we st we stuck with it. You know, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. I think I think we're looking at each game, we're looking at each practice again, getting back to the fundamentals. Did we improve? Um, we're going to watch the tape, and there there were some mistakes made, uh, no question, but. Did we have good de team defensive principles throughout the game? Are we building our team defense? Are we getting better in transition defense? Are we not giving up as many layups? Um, we've been giving up just too many layups. And that means too many straight line drives, too many offensive rebounds. Tonight was definitely a step in the, in the right direction. Uh, so that's how we look at it. We look at it as, hey, we got a little better tonight. Now we got the day off. We got to come back Monday and have a lot of focus on improvement and uh, understanding that we control our own destiny from here on out. <laughs> well, yeah, I think, I think that the tandem, the tandem of um, Sally and Crook, they, they have to be effective. They have to be creating for others. They have to be solid on defense. They can't be getting driven because they're usually guarding the quickest guy on the court. Uh, they have to be active defensively with deflections, helping because post perimeter, post defense starts on the perimeter, and um, you know they got to be confident. I thought Jamal tonight played really confident. I thought um, Sally started off some good moves, maybe didn't finish with some of his decisions, but uh, you know he he was good the last two games. He was actually pretty good the last two games. So. Um, as long as someone's picking up the slack in that tandem, you, you're going to be okay on, on most nights. What was the reaction you saw um, from the team when Jamal said he had it and Sally It was always positive. Those guys all get along uh, well. Jamal's a pretty vocal kid. He's a very fun-loving kid. You see off the court, all the guys love him. You know, I was impressed with Sally. He didn't really – you know, disagree or, or fight that decision whatsoever. And then when I tried to put Sally back into the lineup as a starter, he didn't want to. He, he liked the fact that Jamal was starting us off. So um, there's been nothing but, um, you know, confidence by uh, Jamal's teammates that he can get the job done.
think it's big. I think it's big. I think, um, you know, the Hilltopper Nation in general I is not used to this. <laughs> um, and, I, and I include the coaching staff, obviously, wh wherever we've been. I don't know if there's been a lot of five-game losing skids. And you can't lose course. Uh, you, you know, you can't. You can't get off course. You got to stay the course, and that's probably the biggest thing over the last couple weeks that I've had to try to concentrate on. You know, are we improving? Um, we haven't had enough reps. Our defense has not been where we need it to be. Uh, the focal point from here on out has to be staying the course and building our defense so that we have a chance to win. And at the same time, you have to develop your offense and confidence on that end of the floor as well. And you got to get guys reps. You got to get guys in position to score the basketball. So, you know, staying the course is important, but you got to have a win because you have to build some confidence. And I don't think our guys have let their head down, uh, but it is frustrating when you're losing. But uh, to get back in the win column is big. It's a start.